fire down below. Do her pee. Some little nursery rhymes. Listen. A little teapot shot and so. <laughs> you know, we, 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 we look back and, you know, them tune. Them tune well, these represent. Songs, uh, 1972, 1969. Yeah, he, he just starting out. In fact. But uh, you can hear the chant, you can hear the Rasta influence. And, um, you know, we keep referring to that particular moment when the music really, really changed. And that was when Prince Buster brought in Count Azzy. And, and the and mystic Abing, revelation yes, of and Rasta and drummers. And, Abing drummers. and right. that opened the door for Rastafarianism in Jamaican music, and we have never looked back. And that is one of the reasons why I wanted to lay that context, you know, when we talk about the, 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 the social... Because Burning Spear, in fact, they, they, you know, when, they, when he did the, the single, um, Door Peep, which was the, <laughs> the you know, um, initial tune, um, they, 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 it was a duo with himself and Rupert Willington. Um, they basically named themselves um, the Burning Spear, which was taking the name of the military award given to um, the Kenyan Prime Minister, Jomo, Jomo Kenyatta. Kenyatta. Right? And um, if you remember too, Jomo Kenyatta had um, survived a big trial with, you know, over his role in the Mama Rebellion. Then he was defended by Dudley Thompson at the time, um, who came back in the early 60s, ran against Siaga and lose. But this was a very critical time in Jamaica in terms of its social and political development because the, 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 the JLP administration at the time basically used Rasta as a beaten stick. There was the big Rasta riots in Montego Bay in the uh, um, early 1960s, and they followed that into the, the, the latter part. This, this the Coral whole, Gardens. The Coral Gardens incident was in the early, mid to early 60s. But the, the, by in 68, with the Rodney riots, again, Rasta was the target. And so the idea was to put Rasta under pressure and Burning Spear took the position. And, that, and that also created the whole, I mean, Rastafarians had, in a sense, segregated themselves from traditional religion. But now, with all of these things, that's basically make you realize that Rastaman is just total anti-establishmentarianism. Well, them, them, them Rasta, the was, what, what Rasta was about is a kind of liberty that run as in, contrary to the Babylon liberty. But, the, the, you know, cut a long story short, this is the, 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 the basis on which Rodney is establishing himself. By the, um, you know, by the time Dodd signed them up at Studio One, he would have brought in Justin Hines' nephew, um, uh, De Delroy Hines. And so they made the thing a, tri a, a trio now, and, 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 and they move up. Now, they spent about five, six years at Studio One. And in the, the, the six-year association, um, out of that, they, they put out two albums, um, a number of singles, some uh, you know the early work, which we're going to touch on a, a, yeah, a, a touch couple of those. And, um, the door peep, fire yeah. down below. Um, don't, don't mess with Jill. He prayed, you know, we, you know which we, we and I talk about that, that song with the, um, about Joe Fraser. Yeah. Um, Down by the Riverside, Creation Rebel. We're gonna, let's touch some of them songs and then we come back in. Hi there. If you enjoy that clip, go on over to our website at yardmedia.com where you can watch the entire broadcast at your leisure. And while you're there, why don't you check out our other reggae music features? And before you leave, pick up some of our Jamaican reggae merchandise. And hey, don't forget to tell your friends. My name is Garth, otherwise known as Big G. My name is Richie Blackford. 